In this video, we're gonna go over how to set up the birthdays add-on with Automate Woo. So you can send customized emails to your customers when it's their birthday. For example, you may wanna give your customers a 20% off coupon when it's their birthday and you wanna email it to them on their birthday. So how do we set this up? How do we do this? Well, that's where we're going over today. And the first step we're going to do is we're gonna to go to our WordPress dashboard. We're gonna go to plugins and we're gonna add the Automate Woo birthdays add-on. So if you don't have Automate Woo, you have to have this to do this tutorial, but I'll put the Automate Woo link in the description box below. It's one of my favorite WooCommerce plugins. Anyways, so after activating the Automate Woo birthdays add-on, I'm gonna to go to Automate Woo settings and then I'm gonna click this birthdays tab. So I wanna show the birthday field on checkout and I wanna show it also in the account area and I'm not going to set the year of birth because I just wanna know their date. So I just wanna know that their birthday is on March 3rd or June 10th. I don't need to know that they were born in 1955 per se. So that's where I'm going to do these settings and after clicking save changes, I'm gonna go back to my shop and after adding a product to the cart and going to the checkout page, I can see that there is this area to add my birthday. So let's say I wanna have my birthday be you know, January 12th, for example. It's going to be right after the order notes, but I could also customize this to be you know, before the order notes or after the billing details. So let's say I do after billing details and if I refresh this, it's going to be right after email address. So let me refresh this page real quick. And I can see that it's right after email address. And now I can easily, you know, add in my birthday, you know, January 7th, for, for example. And once I do that and process the order, I can click into this user right here. And I can see that there's a field for um, my birthday right here. So the birthday is going to be field is going to be in the users and you can edit a user and you can find automate woo customer birthday. Okay. So now we have that. How do we create a coupon? So when it is this customer's birthday, you know, January 6th or January 7th or some other birthday, we can send them a discount code for 20% off to, um, and automatically create a coupon for them to use on their birthday. Well, I'm going to go to marketing coupons. And I'm going to create a new bird or create a new coupon and I'm just going to call this like birthday 20 and I'm going to have this be a 20% off percentage discount and I'm going to make this uh, I'm going to publish this coupon but then I'm going to make this a privately um, published so I'll make this private I'm gonna click update awesome so now we have our coupon template we're going to give all people that are getting this coupon on their birthday, you know, 20% off. But now I need to go to Automate Woo and I'm gonna create the email that I'm gonna send to customers on their birthday. So I'm gonna create a new workflow and I'm just gonna say like birthday email to customers. And the trigger is going to be customer birthday. And I wanna run it on the day of their birthday, but you could do it like days before or days after um, etc. But I want to run it on their birthday and then I want to do it at you know 11 a.m. Sounds like a good time to do it, but you could do it at any time you want to and you could add custom rules if this customer has spent more than $100 or you know etc. But for now, I'm just going to do um, send them an email on their birthday at 11 a.m. and I'm going to put this coupon in. So I'm going to send it to this customer's email and um, say like happy birthday. And then we we'll put their customer first name. Use this 20% off discount on any product on our store. And then now I need to insert the coupon that is going to be this customer dot generate coupon. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna search for the birthday template that we created, birthday 20. And you can have this expire you know, in seven days, 14 days, whatever. I'm not gonna have it expire. I want the customer to engage with my store. So I'm just going to 
not have it expire. And I am going to copy this and put this right here. And then I'm going to also um, create a button to, to my shop URL. And I'm just gonna create a button. And then I'm gonna say like best Charlie's coffee. And with this button right here that has my shop URL, I'm just going to go to the text and I'm going to add some quick HTML. And shop now. So let me just save this um, workflow. And now let's preview the workflow and see what we're working with. So I can see that this coupon on this birthday is going to say, hey, customer first name, happy birthday, we hope you enjoy your day. Use this discount for 20% off. And then it's gonna add in the discount code because this is a test, it's gonna look like this, but I could bold this or make this bigger if I wanted to. And then the shop now is going to be a link to my store. So let me just send a test email here. And now if I go to my email and check it out, I can see. Awesome, so this is what you know your customer may see. This coupon code is going to be the coupon they can use. And once again, if I click this shop now, it's gonna take them to the store and they can use that coupon. So if you've set up this workflow and now you've sent to a customer on their birthday, you can also come to marketing coupons and you will be able to see um, this coupon that they can use. So for example, this test coupon was created. So I technically could um, for my email, click this shop now. And if I add a product to the cart, you know, I could apply this coupon and I'm getting 20% off all my products. So let's try adding another coupon or another product to the cart, which is the coffee grinder. I can see that this 20% off coupon is being um, working and applying correctly. So I also could inspect what's going on with this coupon. You never really should edit these coupons that are auto-generated, but I could see um, that this is only for you know one single use, right? And it's um, for 20% off. So that is how you add a coupon for people's and customers' birthdays. Now, this could be really beneficial if you wanna send to your customers, your most loyal customers on their birthday, or just in general, start collecting birthdays to get um, that extra sales for your WooCommerce store on your birthday. So this is Automate Woo Birthdays add-on. If you guys got value out of this video, make sure to give me a like, give me a thumbs up. And if you're curious about Automate Woo, you can see more videos in the cards above. And yeah, have a great rest of your day. Peace out. See ya. Later. Bye.